So over the past few days with Night City Wire 4, we have seen tons of new information dropping surrounding the game. And while I haven't already covered, I will bring you today. I went back over the three trailers we recently got in the diner, The Rise of the Dark Future and 2077 in style, and although most of the footage we've already seen in previous trailers, I've spotted a couple of interesting points worth mentioning. We also have an extended trailer too, more cyberpunk partnerships as well as some incredible newly released high res images of some of the insane vehicles we've seen. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of this game to win one for yourself or a friend, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Now I've already covered most, which if you missed you'll find a few of my videos from yesterday, link below covering the trailers and Night City Wire 4, all can be found within my Cyberpunk playlist. Today from the trailers I'll just say a couple of uh, things I think people may have missed. Firstly, and in no particular order, within the diner trailer we obviously see V being briefed basically on Night City and progressing to the top. I said this in my video yesterday that this is gotta be near the start of the game. It's probably part of a prologue to one of the three life paths we choose in Nomad, Street Kid or Corpo. Now what I haven't seen anyone pick up on or mention is the fact we see V here without any implants. He's fresh boy. Now I ain't sure if this is the first time we've seen him like this, but it's definitely the clearest we've seen him like this. Now it's obvious that this V wouldn't be poster boy for the game, as you want to see augments, you want to see implants, you want to see cyberware when you're trying to sell this game. This poster boy V wouldn't sell anything. But it is good to get a clean shot of him for sure. But yeah, like I said, I'm sticking to my guns and I do think this is definitely near the start of the campaign. Okay, so moving on. Now we saw a ton of footage of cars, different types, different styles and more. But another thing I don't think I saw anyone talk about was the actual damage to the vehicles. And although we don't see much of it, it's here for sure. And I mean, we already knew it was going to be a thing, but it's still good to see the kind of impact damage has on the cars. Also, something I don't think anyone noticed is when this little tut tut takes off, we actually see that it can turn in mid air, much like we see in GTA 5. I mean, not a massive feature, but it's still there, people. Now, moving on, and we see many other scenes of craziness, like I said, not much we haven't seen before, but this I did indeed like as it shows the level of detail within this game. Notice the illuminated tattoos, pretty cool, but notice the effect they have when stockings are applied above them. I mean, I could be alone, but I really enjoy this level of detail. Next up, something I mentioned briefly yesterday, but it's a new look at the character customization screen. I mean, we have seen this change, what, two, three, four times now? But the interface or the hub is definitely getting cleaner as we go on for sure. Now, I do plan on bringing you guys a comparison video of how things have changed from the past to the present in terms of features like this, gameplay and graphics, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, the character customization is definitely looking cleaner right now. Okay, so moving on and next up we see another Kobe Bryant tribute. This one with a guy seemingly trying out his new augmented legs and giving us a high jump. Notice his yellow, very Laker reminiscent top as well as that number 24 on it. And this isn't the first Kobe tribute we've seen either, as within the Brain Dance gameplay we got a while back, we see a Kobe tribute tattoo, which you can see on screen now. So it's definitely a cool touch, guys. Okay, so next up, new Cyberpunk 2077 partnerships. And firstly, PC Gamer with its Cyberpunk cover story. Now, if you want more info on this issue, I will link it below. I will purchase it myself and see if it holds any goodies. If it does, I will cover them right here on my channel. Another collab with OnePlus. With a limited edition, limited made number Cyberpunk smartphones coming, people. This will be amazing. Now, we get more details within November, so keep an eye out on those social media platforms for more information on this or wait until I cover it myself. Okay, so almost over guys, and sorry for keeping you too long. But with the amazing showcase of cyberpunk vehicles, we've also had some incredible high-res images released of the vehicles in which you can see on screen now, including a very detailed cabin view of Johnny's Porsche, which is pretty damn fire. Now all of these images and many many more are available for you to download via my discord linked below where I've just created its very own cyberpunk section so come and join the family people and let's talk cyberpunk and well get yourself a pretty wallpaper while you're there. Okay so lastly guys we have an extended look at the trailer or teaser Porsche shared on Instagram showcasing Johnny Silverhand's Porsche. 
and that will play in the background as I end the video guys. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did leave a like, it really helps out and sub if you want more cyberpunk. But enjoy the trailer guys and I hope to see you on that next one.